Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nirajana from Leo Tales. Today's video is one of the most requested ones actually on Instagram. So we will be comparing two of the most famous races for women we have in India. One is the Gillette Venus Breeze and the other one is Let Shave Evior. So we're going to quickly compare these two, do a demo and I'll share my review with you guys at the end. Keep on watching. Packaging wise, Evior comes in a very simple packaging and Evior is priced at Rs 3.99. You will get it at around 350 rupees. It will contain one razor body and a blade which is replaceable and reusable as well. For the Gillette Venus, we have very attractive outer packaging. You will just pick it up when you see it in the store and that is exactly the advantage of Gillette Venus. This one again is priced at 2.99 rupees but you will get it around 260 rupees and it will contain one razor body and a detachable blade which is reusable and replaceable as well. Once the the blades go blunt you can actually replace them the Gillette one is priced at I think 349 rupees for two extra blades whereas the Evio one is priced at around same 350 rupees for two extra blades that way the pricing is similar and also if you already have any other Gillette razor like they have this blue razor which contains aloe vera so you can actually interchange the blade so if you already have the blue body body you can actually replace it with the uh, breeze uh, blade maybe or vice versa so that is an advantage if you already have a Gillette for the look and feel, I think both of them are pretty in their own ways. Evior is white and pink. Uh, it has a better grip, I guess, because it's slightly larger. Uh, the Gillette also has a rubbery kind of grip and it is a pretty purple kind of color. Replacing the blade is also pretty easy. You have a button at the back side. One is a pink button and the other one is a purple button. Just press and release and it's pretty easy that way. So. Uh, holding it in the shower, ergonomic finish, uh, not slipping off, etc. Pretty much same for both. You can go ahead with either of them. As for blades, well, here is a lot of difference. The Evior comes with a six blade technology. You can see the six blades. On top of that, you have these moisturizing bars which contains aloe vera and all. So it will be good for sensitive skin. It won't be very harsh. And on top of that, you can see the brush fingers also, which will kind of give a slight exfoliation feel as you shave. Whereas for the Gillette, now here is all the difference. The Gillette is a three blade technology, which is fine. The Gillette contains these moisturizing bars on top and bottom. It's like soap, basically not soap. It's like a lubricant. So when it comes in contact with your wet skin, it produces its own lather. So you really don't have to use an external lubricant while shaving. And that is the best part. Also, the Gillette Venus moisturizing bars, they are enriched with avocado oils and they have the scent of Phrygia flower. So the good thing is you smell amazing. Whereas for the Evior, you need to use an external uh, shaving gel or a form i am using their own shaving gel which is for sensitive skin it smells really good and it's pink in color and it is just 2.99 rupees so and it's like i think 200 ml or something so the quantity is also pretty good that way so after shaving whether it is with gillette or whether it is with evior provided you're using the evior shaving gel your skin is going to smell amazing the evior blade comes in a plastic cap each blade comes in a cap so you can actually like once it dries down you can actually put it back in the cap again it becomes travel friendly so that way it is good whereas for the gillette venus um the moisturizing bar as i said it's like wet soap so you'll have to dry it down and it doesn't come with a case so it is not exactly say, travel friendly and that is one of the problems that i face with the gillette venus they've rectified this with their new Gillette Venus Snap which is like a travel friendly edition of the breeze it comes in the small plastic cap so that is good but the pricing and all is different so another thing about Gillette Venus and Evior is that the blades are flexible like the heads are flexible which becomes advantageous when you're doing areas like elbow your knee or even your private part you really reach down to your private areas I think the flexibility part of Evior it makes it a little more easier than the Gillette so because of the aforementioned reason, storing becomes a little difficult. You will always have to put it in an upright position and there is no other position actually. Because the soap is like wet, it, it will not dry out completely. Whereas for the Evior, I have dried down the blade, I have put it back in the case and the body is here. So you can say, like you can carry it around, you can travel with it, it's not a problem. Whereas for the Gillette, it becomes a problem. Now let's check out a demo of the two razors. So for the Gillette Venus, just wet your skin and you can start shaving in the opposite direction of your hair growth you don't need any lubricant or anything uh, it's already soapy and it is quite you know like slimy to touch as you can see and it does a good job of removing the hair i have very thin hair on my hand as you can see even that was removed efficiently and that was good now for the Evior, i'm using the let shave sensitive skin shaving gel it's a light pinky color you need a little quantity just smother it on your wet skin and it will cover up nicely so my kind of thin hair doesn't need this but if you have really thick hair then this will be advantageous and in gentle strokes in the opposite direction as well as sometimes in the direction of hair growth i use my Evior razor 
and I could easily use both razors with my left hand as well as right hand even though I am a righty uh, both ways it was convenient and this again gets all those little hairs as well I know it's a, not a great sight to see but I wanted to show and both my hands felt soft I couldn't really say which razor I used on which hand both of them felt equally soft there were no stubbles and I like the end effect of both razors Coming to the review of the razors, both of them do give a close cut. I have used this in my arm, in my legs, body, private parts. So both of them did fare equally good. However, I felt that as I mentioned earlier, the flexibility of the Avior as well as the a little bit more of a wider uh, blade and also the six blade technology, it kind of I felt a little more safer when I was using this in my private area than the Gillette Venus. That is something that is my personal opinion actually. So, but then both of them were equally good. They did not give a cut or anything. Because this has an inbuilt moisturizing bar, it feels a little more smooth or you will feel that it's gliding a little more smooth on your skin. Whereas for the Evia one, you will have to use an external lubricant. That said, it is not harsh, but overall the Gillette one is more smoother by maybe one person, but that's not a big deal. Pricing wise, well, the Avior is like 100 rupees extra than the Gillette Venus, so that is one thing. But as I said, these moisturizing bars, since they're not travel friendly, also it becomes a little uncomfortable because of the, you know, the, the soapy feel of it. I sort of prefer an external shaving gel to be used so that I can safely take it while traveling and can store it and all. So for that reason alone and also the six blade thing, I like if you are a little more than the Gillette Venus. But if you are like on a first date and you want to smell really amazing, you're going to use this on your arms and underarms and all, then definitely Gillette Venus is the one to go for. If you are a beginner, if you are a newbie into shaving and you're wondering which one to go for both of them won't disappoint you but to get the classic shaving experience you can go for the avior to get a little more of silky luxurious uh, shaving feeling just it's just a feeling and the endocell the same for both you can go for the gillette venus so that's a comparison between the let shave avior razor and the gillette venus breeze i like the smell of both of them <laughs> so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video we will meet again with another video until then take care bye